Miami-Dade County, under the leadership of Mayor Daniela Levine Cava, is moving swiftly to expand COVID-19 vaccine distribution to protect our community and move our economy forward. Vaccine supplies are currently extremely limited, and as the state provides more vaccines to the county, we are working hard to distribute them as fast as possible. Register for vaccine updates and get more information at miamidade.gov slash vaccine. Get vaccinated, Miami-Dade County. It's our best shot for a strong, healthy community. Good morning. It's Tuesday and it's 11 a.m., which means it's time for the FIU Music Hour on WDNA 88.9 FM, where we present live weekly performances in the WDNA Jazz Gallery and feature students, faculty, and alumni from Florida International University's School of Music. I'm your host today and new FIU faculty, Dr. Russ Spiegel, and along with our producer, Dr. Karen Velaz, we'd like to welcome you to the I think this is the sixth performance of the semester. Whether you're listening to us at home, in your car, or live on WDNA.org slash FIU, we are delighted to have you with us. And today we are pleased to feature my own band, the Russ Spiegel Organ Group, featuring myself on guitar, Manny Shazabal on the saxophone, Jim Gazier on the organ, and Lucas Apostolaris on drums. I thought I'd do a set entitled Just the Blues, or All Blues, I don't know, or Many Shades of Blue. Anyways, they're going to be featuring uh, blues compositions I've written over the years, and we're going to start off with one called Fourth Floor. Two. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, thank you guys. That was a uh, brand new piece that I just wrote, finished yesterday actually, and it's called Retribution Blues. And I was going to have a little talk here with Jim, if I may. You might want to uh, pull up your microphone there. Jim, I had a couple questions for you. First of all, how long have you been playing the organ? That's a, <clears throat> that's a great question. Uh, and if by playing you mean listening and, and loving the music of Jimmy Smith, it's been uh, close, to, close to 50 years. And if you uh, uh, call buying the organ and, and actually putting your fingers on it, uh, closer to a five, six, about. Um, tremendous amount of fun, and, and I certainly owe a, a huge chunk of that um, experience to you and, and probably uh, a huge ex uh, chunk of that experience to my dad for exposing me to this uh, music for a long time. It's been a desire to, for me to play for a very long time and I finally said to myself, um, self, do it. <laughs> Get started. Oh, fantastic. And now the, the organ is some an instrument that possibly a number of our listeners would associate more with churches, and maybe you can talk a little bit about how the jazz or the organ got involved as a jazz instrument. Yeah, that's a, that's a, you have all these sort of cultures kind of uh, overlapping. Um, and uh, really, you know, jazz is, a, is an African-American music, and um, uh, it's, it's, a, it's an incredible privilege for us just to be, to be playing it in the first place. Um, so the, the, the sort of genesis of this music called jazz is complicated enough and has a lot of, a lot of ugly, uh, a lot of ugly history. Um, but you know, the, 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 the church organ and even church music in, in Africa, in the African American, uh, culture is also complicated because you have a lot of, um, um, <clears throat> kind of leftover European Christian music that, uh, the African American church basically was eager to kind of get their hands on in, in various kind of ways. And some of the most amazing music you can ever listen to is music that comes out of the African American church. And so this is, it really, beca it really became kind of co-opted as an African American instrument in church, church culture. And it didn't take long for cats just to be, to be wanting to play the blues and wanting to play jazz. And you know some of the earlier um, you know jazz you know organists. I mean like like you know Jimmy Smith, and McDuff, and those cats that were just you know eager to really bring a lot of the a lot of the music really really church music was really was really kind of bringing that into the jazz sound. Right, and again for the people who are listening on the radio, they may not be able to see all the things that you're doing, but there are two manuals, so two keyboards on the organ itself. And what Jim is doing is he's playing bass with his left hand and solos and, and chords in his right hand most of the time, correct? Yeah. And so if somebody was, was thinking about getting involved in learning how to play a jazz style, organ in a jazz style, how would they go about it? Um, practice. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Buy the instrument, start practice. I mean, it's like anything else, you know, li listening and and uh, and diving in. I mean, I always tell my my students. It's funny because I just spent the weekend in, in Texas and with a, and a good. Some of it was a good a friend of mine in Texas in San Antonio. He's great uh, percussionist and educator. And uh, so much of what we talked about is is you know learning on the bandstand and uh, not being afraid of you know kind of failure. And uh, in the music education world, you know, we have this kind of mantra of, you know, practice perfect. Never, ever make a mistake. If you never, ever make a mistake when you're practicing, then a mistake will, will never end up, you know, <laughs> popping in to your playing. And there's obviously, there's a lot of common sense and a lot of good uh, use to that kind of thinking. But, um, but fear of failure has stopped many people from doing many a great thing and, uh, you know, diving in and, and, uh, and, and always keeping the heroes, you know, kind of out in, in a vision for how you want to sound and, mm -hmm. and diving in. And, yeah. That also reminds me a little bit of the book Effortless Mastery mm -hmm. from, uh, from uh, Kenny Werner, who talks about uh, being okay with failure and, and being okay with seeing yourself uh, in, in a... In a in a particular performance situation. 
and just imagining. And of course, also there's the thing, I mean, if you make a mistake, what's the worst thing that can happen? I mean, there will be no blood, as right. we like to say. Right. Um, and then for this group, we've been playing, how long have we been playing together as, as a group now? It's been about five-ish years, but five maybe, years. maybe even, maybe even a little longer. Right. Um, yeah, I just remember seeing Jim playing piano and I was, and I had an opportunity to play somewhere and I just was curious if he played organ and he said yes. And that's, that's how that started. Anyways, this band, uh, usually I ask uh, what are, what are the uh, next um, concerts, but since this is our band together, uh, our next concert is actually next week at Lanyap House um, in uh, Miami and that's at 9 p.m., 9 to midnight, I believe. Uh, you can hear hear the band and uh, when, when, Wednesday the twentieth, right? Wednesday the twentieth, correct. And there is also a CD. We were hoping to record a second CD, and that was just when <laughs> COVID hit, and so all those uh, that came to a screeching halt. And let's see how are we do with time. Actually, we have to make a quick break, and then we are going to get back to music. So. Having said that, you are listening to the FIU Music Hour on WDNA 88.9 FM with the Russ Spiegel Organ Group. We'll be right back after these messages.
Listening to the FIU Music Hour on WDNA 88.9 FM. As part of our concert activities, FIU School of Music is thrilled to return to our stage this fall with a thrilling array of performances featuring our award winning FIU artist faculty, guest artists, and talented students. We continually strive to offer programming that deepens our engagement with the South Florida community, reaffirms our commitment to push for diversity, and nurtures the next generation of musicians through meaningful collaborations and partnerships. Come explore what our season has to offer and feel the exhilaration of live music again. More information can be found at fiu.universitytickets.com. And now back to our show, the Russ Spiegel Organ Group, and we are going to be playing a fairly new composition for this band. It's called Number One. Thank you. 
I'm going to make a short guitar change here. Quick and painless.
listening to the Russ Spiegel Organ Group on the FIU Music Hour on WDNA 88.9 FM. I've been your faculty host, Russ Spiegel, and along with our producer, Karen Velaz, we'd like to thank our production crew and staff of WDNA 88.9 FM for today's broadcast. If you'd like more information on all our programs, make sure to call 305-384-2896 or simply like our Facebook page to stay up to date with all our upcoming performances. Thank you so much for joining us, and make sure to join the FIU Music Hour for more great music every Tuesday, 11 a.m. to noon. Next week, we will be presenting FIU Jazz Vocals under the direction of faculty Lisanne Lyons. How are we doing with time there? I think we have just enough time to play a quickie. We're going to play one that's called Up the Creek. One, two, one, two, three.
All right, guys. Thank you. Miami-Dade County, under the leadership of Mayor Daniela Levine Cava, is moving swiftly to expand COVID-19 vaccine distribution to protect our community and move our economy forward. Vaccine supplies are currently extremely limited, and as the state provides more vaccines to the county, we are working hard to distribute them as fast as possible. Register for vaccine updates and get more information at miamidade.gov slash vaccine. Get vaccinated, Miami-Dade County. It's our best shot for a strong, healthy community.